How's it going guys? It's Lord Danny back again with another video on the Sonic franchise. Except this one isn't going to be as positive as my last one. So my last video was actually about a fan project known as Super Mario Bros. Super, which is a crossover between Mario and Sonic, based on Dragon Ball Z, and heavily inspired by Super Mario Bros. Z. I loved it, and I thought I may as well talk about it, because we at least got to see one episode. Because as you may know, I have a rule where I don't like talking about things until they are fully released. So I will not review something or give my opinion on something until I see it as a whole, which is why I didn't do a lot of videos on Sonic forces. I only released one video which was a theory about infinites and to be honest that theory still holds up pretty well because I, instead of talking about what character I thought he was going to be or what his story was I just talked about what I actually thought Sega went for when creating him and I was right actually. So if you go back and look at it now I got a lot of things right and unlike a lot of channels I don't look back at it and go oh man look how stupid I was how could I have believed infinite was tales from the Sega Game Gear. And you know I didn't do many v videos on Sonic Forces it's just something I don't like doing that. I don't like jumping on hype trains where my videos get lost. I don't like jumping on hype trains if it involves talking about something which hasn't even been released. So this is a movie and I really want to give as much positivity as I can. When it comes out, I will probably go and see it. Not with a whole high expectations in my mind and hostility in my personality I think, oh let's pick out everything bad about this film. I will just go and watch it just because I want to go to the cinema and enjoy myself. But the more I see of it, the more I just want to die. <laughs> I think a lot of Sonic fans can agree with that. Lots of people are saying that this is the one time the Sonic fan base has actually united together against one thing. And maybe it is. Maybe this is going to be a moment in history. So this first post we saw, when I first saw it, I'll be honest, I didn't actually mind it that much. I focused more on the head and it looked like Sonic's head. The logo looked pretty cool. And then as I realised that the body proportions were not right, I was thinking, okay, he's got smaller hands. Maybe, maybe they're just making him look a bit more human. And then I realised how human they made him when I stared at his body for long enough and then the shoes, even the shoes make him look too human and it's, that's, I don't know, that bothers me so much. I just thought, oh god, what's his face gonna look like? I think a lot of people at the moment are scared to see his face and I've seen plenty of the memes about it already. So then this second poster got released and I just lost more of my hope, if that was even possible at that point, when you just see those like really weirdly hairy muscular legs. Like, ugh, they're so- everything about that poster is just wrong. So I, I prefer the first one because at least it just looks like something that's not from a weird furry website. It looks like something out of Sonic Dreams Collection. I'm not even joking. Do you remember that game? That's weird Dreams Collection. That bit where you, he's, he's running and he's a human body. Yeah, that is- that's what this is. Is this what- is it, was that the game they were looking at for inspiration? Oh my god. So I've seen two posters and I've just- I'm losing my hope. Lots of people said they had no hope already because they compared it to the 2017 fan film. But you know what? I actually really like that fan film. I'm a fan who's got very low standards. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'm someone in this fan base who enjoyed Sonic Forces. And I, like, like I loved it, for goodness sake. It was a great game. I'm someone who considers Sonic 06 as my favourite game of all time. Or, well, no, my favourite Sonic game, but, but one of my favourite games of all time. I consider Sonic 3D Flicky's Island to be really good, which is a game that many people have blocked from their memories. But, you know, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. It's playable. I don't see why people have such a big problem with it. And it brings me a lot of joy because it was the first Sonic game I ever played. I enjoyed pretty much all the Sonic cartoons. People complain about Sonic Underground. Uh, it's my favourite, so, you know that again low standard when Sonic Boom came out I didn't mind the redesigns I thought Knuckles looked a bit weird but overall I enjoyed how everybody looked I actually enjoyed the cartoons even the original first season where people complained it was bad CGI and very bad script writing nope I enjoyed it when I heard how bad Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric was I still bought it I have every Sonic game I don't care so my standards are very low I have seriously low standards with this franchise. I think I didn't need to say anymore when I said Sonic 06 was my favourite game. So for me to then look at this poster and feel a sense of dread, oh my god, I can't imagine what everyone else is feeling because holy heck, this is something that I'm scared for. But my slither of hope comes from the fact that we've got Jim Carrey in this movie. He's playing Dr. Eggman. And we know how crazy Jim Carrey can act. And we know how crazy the character of Eggman can be, especially in the more recent games or in Japan and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. 
I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> oh god, he's probably gonna look like the design from Sonic 06, but you know, my favourite game, doesn't matter. That is something I hope will save this movie, but I don't think it will save it enough. It's unfortunate. I mean, the amount of CG that we've seen in Sonic games, like, especially in Sonic 06, the amazing cutscenes, they could make a really good animated movie. Sega could make an animated movie. But the fact that Sega have actually even started expressing dislike towards what Sonic's eyes might look like in this film, that just says it all, really, doesn't it? So... The posters are one thing. Sega's opinions on the character's designs are on a whole other level of, holy hell, this movie's gonna definitely fail. And again, I don't want to give this movie too much hate because it's not even, the trailer's not even been released yet. But the fact that we've got this realistic looking silhouette and those weird legs already, I'm starting to panic. I mean, hey, we've got Bumblebee coming out and we've got the Detective Pikachu and hey, Avengers Endgame. Yeah, yeah, we've got some good movies coming out and lots of franchises seem to be redeeming themselves But it looks like us Sonic fans have just got to suffer together, I guess So that's all I have to say really on this I mean, I can't really say anything else without sounding like every other video you've watched about these posters But yeah, these posters, I'm scared. That's all I can say. But again, let's not go too hateful Let's not immediately say we're not going to go see this film because of the redesign. I think we should go and watch it as if it's not a Sonic film. And, you know, maybe enjoy Jim Carrey's performance because hopefully he adds something to this film. I'm still going to go see it. I do recommend that everyone else should go see it without spouting loads of hate towards it because, of course, you can't judge something until you see it, which, again, is my rule. I will not judge something until I see it for myself in its completed form. So I know I've been giving these posters a lot of hatred but honestly it's very difficult not to i can't say well hey his legs look pretty thick let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking and just talk really just talk about anything talk about just anything sonic i don't know just comment leave a like if you I like this video i don't really know why you'd like it it's just me complaining about posters and if you haven't subscribed to this channel already then please do because i do videos whenever really. It's like 90% Sonic. 95% pro probably. But you know, just subscribe if you feel like it. If you don't, then go away. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm Lord Danny, signing out.